Cyber Security Center in Gipuzkoa. And uh, we're going to hear about that uh, from the Provincial Minister on Economic Promotion. Good morning, everyone. I would like to thank you all uh, for being here uh, for this very special event, Industry Sec 2018. This is our first uh, industrial cybersecurity conference, an event that has been organized uh, with a lot of hopes. We are uh, particularly happy, well, I am particularly happy to see uh, a room full of people. Uh, it's obviously a very popular, very relevant topic, uh, which means a lot to us as well. We keep hearing about cybersecurity. It's very much a hot topic in this day and age. And yet, I just wanted uh, to stress that this is not just a fad, it's not just something fashionable or temporary. This has to do with the future of not just uh, firms, uh, but also public institutions. I mentioned firms, and it could be any size. It could be SMEs, larger companies, technologically advanced companies, or not particularly companies uh, that manufacture uh, computers or uh, chips or machine tools, any type of company, as I said. Firms uh, that are can be attacked uh, and can be vulnerable uh, just about every day. Uh, we need to acknowledge that. That's uh, what is happening. Uh, I'm not talking about what is happening elsewhere, but about Gipuzkoa. Daily vulnerabilities and attacks, uh, and it's not just a matter of opinion. It's a fact, which is why uh, we set in motion a new strategy, starting with questionnaires and surveys, and uh, we have gathered a lot of information on that uh, for us to understand uh, the current situation. Some 84% of Gipuzkoan companies have production means and equipment connected uh, to the web, some 70% of them with external connections. Over 50% of them don't have cybersecurity experts uh, working for them, uh, or nobody who's responsible for that particular topic. In a recent study, the provincial government found uh, that Gipuzkoan companies have experienced highly risky attacks. So this is, this is a, a very important issue. We are immersed in the 4.0 revolution, uh, which has plenty of opportunities uh, that we want to be uh, prepared for. And yet, we should also understand and acknowledge uh, that being connected to the internet uh, also entails significant risks. That is why uh, public institutions want, want to help companies uh, to uh, be able to face this challenge in a better manner. Why? Because if we don't, uh, we won't be competitive internationally, we won't be believable, uh, our products and services won't be uh, reliable. Nobody uh, will uh, trust us anymore. And uh, as far as we know, uh, because of our diagnosis, our firms are not uh, prepared and ready for it, uh, which is why we set in motion this strategy with uh, very specific objectives. The first one uh, is having a territory that's uh, prepared for what is here and what is coming. The second objective is awareness. Uh, for cybersecurity, so we can better help industrial firms and so uh, customers are better protected, which is uh, very, very important logically. Another objective is for Gipuzkoa uh, to continue uh, to be uh, more and better 
specialized because cybersecurity is not just uh, something that we find concerning. Uh, it's a concern um, internationally and at all levels. Fortunately, we have good news in this sense. Uh, we have a privileged position in this field as a territory. And just to prove it, we have here representatives from very dynamic firms, uh, true um, role models, uh, innovative centers uh, in the field of cybersecurity. So what should the provincial government uh, do in this field? Well, we need to build better bridges uh, between local uh, industrial firms on the one hand and cybersecurity solutions and firms on the other. So Gipuzkoa uh, can be an international uh, role model for the others to follow. And just to prove it, we have this conference uh, here today and tomorrow a long list of other events uh, and activities uh, that we have organized and will continue to organize. Also, subsidies uh, and uh, public aid and SIGUR, uh, the new center. We want to have our equipment better protected with the um, internet. Yes, our equipment and our customers, so we have better quality in our products. Um, so that we don't need to worry, so that privacy is respected, so we have a better market position, helping and avoiding avoiding uh, industrial cyber espionage, uh, because some 53% of the Fuscoan firms have suffered, suffered a cyber attack. How? Thanks to SIUR, the Advanced Cyber Security Center for Industrial Firms uh, that wants to be a model for others to follow. So that firms uh, that want uh, to uh, be digital and our uh, knowledge and technology centers can come together so we can better protect uh, cyber security in our companies uh, for better competitiveness and protection. And uh, thanks to Theur, uh, helping firms uh, with knowledge, with training, dissemination of knowledge, prevention and diagnosis of incidents, and testing of industrial products uh, at its cybersecurity laboratory. Because uh, Theur uh, will help uh, advanced manufacturing in Gipuzkoa so that all the knowledge that we already have on cybersecurity in our territory uh, can better serve companies in, on their journey to digitalization. Helping our companies uh, is uh, guaranteeing the future for all our citizens. Siur the Industrial Cyber Security Center in Gipuzkoa. Thior is a name that means a lot to us. And uh, in Basque, it reminds us of the main features in our project. We wanted the name to be in the Basque language uh, because we want our center uh, to be Basque in Gipuzkoa. Uh, it will be located here in San Sebastian at the um, industrial park so that SIUR, our new center, uh, can have all the necessary resources and instruments uh, to help um, a better competitiveness in cybersecurity, both in industrial firms and in our industrial fabric in general. Our provincial president reminded, reminded us that um, industry accounts for 27% of our uh, GDP, and we want uh, that uh, position uh, to continue to grow strong. SIUR will be working then in uh, generation and transfer of knowledge, training, specialist knowledge, dissemination of best practices, and intervention strategies and tools. SIUR, the new center, will deploy a long list of activities uh, in those four areas for 
training and education, promoting talent, having self-diagnosis tools available, uh, promoting R&D and I, and uh, promoting better collaboration uh, between industrial firms, academia, and public institutions, with a focus on local stakeholders, although uh, we will, uh, and also uh, very much respecting um, the relevance of private firms. As I said, R&D and I uh, will be uh, generated and promoted and at the center, there will be an area with a laboratory so that firms uh, can carry out better testing activities. So how will SIUR be working? Well, the main pillar in that sense uh, will be Etorkisuna uh, Eraikis, the provincial program to build a better future on the basis of collaborative uh, democracy and participation. We are working very, very closely uh, with industrial firms. We have done so for a long time, and that's why we know that SIUR uh, will be working uh, with cybersecurity firms, with industrial firms, uh, with academia, uh, with education and training centers, and uh, also collaborating with other uh, public institutions. For instance, uh, the local council of Donostia San Sebastian, that will be a part of the project, and also with the regional Basque government in general. SIUR uh, is uh, a member of the European Cybersecurity um, Association, which is good proof of how and why we want to be truly international. We calculate uh, that SIUR will be up and running uh, by autumn this year, and uh, also, very, very shortly, uh, we'll be announcing who the president uh, will be for this our SEER center. Uh, we will set up uh, the foundation as such very, very shortly. Because when we did first decided uh, that we had to work on cybersecurity, uh, we carried out a diagnosis with interviews and surveys uh, of companies in Kipuzkoa. And thanks to that information, uh, we now have a new call uh, for subsidies, public subsidies and aid uh, that uh, we want to contribute uh, to help cybersecurity. We also want uh, Gipuzkoa uh, to be a specialization hub. And uh, we want to promote startups. And we want to help um, create and generate new companies and entrepreneurship. Uh, we will do our utmost to accelerate and improve that process. We have also launched at the Subidimanteo um, Vocational Training and University of Mondragon um, a special course, a vocational title or qualification, and a master's course precisely in this field, in cybersecurity. Because uh, if we want to uh, do our best for talent, we need to sow the right seeds. And we know uh, that specialist uh, training and education is one of the main ingredients for that. We also collaborate uh, with uh, research centers, both uh, locally and internationally. We are a member of EXO, uh, as I said earlier, uh, the uh, European Cybersecurity Network that was first set up in 2016 uh, with initially uh, 50 members, uh, larger and smaller companies, uh, academia, public institutions, or got together uh, and uh, for CEO to be member uh, of uh, that network, the European network, uh, obviously it will do a lot uh, to open doors for us internationally. You can see uh, that uh, we have set all of this in motion and that our strategy is 
focused mostly on our center, on Siur. We are building a better future uh, for Gipuzkoa, and uh, we need you for that, because cybersecurity is a challenge uh, that uh, we need to face together. We need to make the most of our current position, make the most of our all our potential, and I'm positive that we will uh, do fantastically well. I hope that the program is interesting uh, for you for the next couple of days and that you learn all sorts of things about cybersecurity. Thank you for your attention.